Hello everybody, QC Runner for QC Runner Games. I am back today with an episode of Hustle Castle. This one may seem like it's a little bit behind the times, and as a matter of fact it is, it's a couple days later than usual. And also I haven't been posting anything in between, which I often do. I've been taking a couple uh, days, weeks, break uh, from Hustle Castle, um, which I do occasionally just to keep from getting burned out. Uh, but primarily, um, I've been focusing on the other games. There's been events going on in Zero City, which has a couple days left, and American Dad just finished one, a hologram event, which is similar to Rune Event, and then Shelter War also has an event going on. So it's just been full-time grinding in those, plus I have multiple accounts going in some of those, so a little bit difficult to go in and get everything going all the time. So anyway, it, uh, it allowed me to take a little bit of downtime, so... People have been kind of stealing my resources, but I was pretty much like maxed on everything except for gold and mithril. But mithril, I never had my mithril that high, so I need to do some work on that. So today's video, um, I have a few admin things to cover. I'm gonna do that in the beginning. We're gonna do the giveaway video and then, or do the giveaway. And there's gonna be a bit of an event preview. Uh, it, was, it was not the purpose of this video. I didn't think about that, but there was a downtime that just ended. It just came back up and we don't have any, any visibility of anything. But the, it seems like the ongoing expectation at this point is that there is going to be an event coming and likely soon, and it's going to be a big one, one that people get excited about. So uh, I'm going to cover the leaks and the information that I have. There's not very much this time. Usually we have a lot more. This one's going to be pretty small. Uh, so probably because of that, since I haven't been in here, I'll be keeping this video fairly short. Um, but I just want to let you know ahead of time what's going to be coming. So. Uh, first things first, I'm going to do the admin information here, and then I'll get to the, the giveaway. So uh, I don't think I posted it here in the QC Runner um, video, or sorry, in the Hustle Castle videos yet, but we have a new QC Runner Discord server. A lot of you were on the old one, and it was a little bit clunky, and this new one was uh, created by Unzi, uh, if a lot of you know from American Dad, and it's a, it's a lot better. It's a lot more automated. Things work a lot easier you can go to a channel basically add your own roles yourself so you can cover whichever game you want uh, so i'll have that link down below in the description as you can see i have the ticker back on i've had that off for a while so the uh, discord link down below is the link to the new server and the old one's going to be going away at some point not yet because i have a lot of links going to the old one yet but um, that one will be going away. So um, there hasn't been a lot of uh, Hustle Castle people there because I haven't really posted it into a video yet. So I recommend going to the server and joining. I'm doing giveaways as of now, still the old way with uh, the Google form and everything, but it's very possible near, in the near future, I'll be doing my giveaways on the Discord server. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier for me to maintain. And it's also gonna you know, build um, followers there as well. So uh, make sure you check that out. Like I said, down below in the Discord uh, or in the description, or you know, these videos post on Hustle Prime. There's the link there on the Hustle Prime um, YouTube video there as well and any number of ways you can find it. So um, be sure to go ahead and jump in and join and we can start getting some chatting going there as well. Obviously, it's... Um, it's going to be all things QC Runner. It's not just, you know, just like the old one. It's not just going to be Hustle Castle. It's going to be, I have channels for Zero City and Shelter War and American Dad and just, you know, general chatting and things like that. So uh, anyway, uh, go ahead and check that out. And what other admin did I have? That was the that was the big one. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll bring that up as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and announce the giveaway. Um, the, the images I'm going to display here in the background are going to be a little bit clunky. One, because, well, only one reason is because the um, event preview item I'm going to cover is going to be a very large, huge image. So I'm going to try not to scroll around too crazy on that, but it's going to kind of throw these images off a little bit. So, all right, so here we go. Our normal giveaway, we have uh, 500 diamonds going to the 10 people who are the closest with the number that we had chosen last week. And let me go ahead and turn that on here. So the number was 19020. Sorry, a little fly going right in front of me here. So 19,020. And our 10 closest winners were Lord Orn, Canix, Slick Rick, Oreo Lover, South Bronx, Gunther, MB, Cerny, Ijo, and Greater Zam. Congratulations. You guys each get 500 in game diamonds. Those should be given out early Friday morning as usual. Um, so thanks for joining. Thanks for participating. And we will, uh, I will be covering the um next giveaway that's coming next week at the end of this video and like i said it whoops what did i just do turn my webcam off sorry about that i meant to go ahead and turn my image off apparently not doing hustle castle videos for a while has made me uh, forget how to do hustle castle videos so i do apologize for that anyway event preview here so 
what what do we have and what's coming up the the general consensus seems to be that it's going to be a rune event obviously everybody gets very excited about those i could have sworn we just had one in here but maybe it's just that time is going so fast with so many things going on that is, it is time is truly flying by i did just have a uh, prototype event which is zero city which ended and a hologram event which is american dad which just ended so it seems to be what's going around lately and i could have sworn we had one here in hostile castle as well but maybe not it was uh, like a secondary armor armor uh rune which we can start adding onto our armor so i don't um not that one come on so i i, I think maybe this one that's the first one uh i don't remember who i added it on here right here oh you know what i need to do this could be something i need to solve here uh 6.7 i need to yeah it was this one right here i do have a second um incinerator going right now so i think what i need to do is take this second one off of here and add this to my other incinerator but i'll do that i'll do that later that's obviously not the point of this video we're getting ready to talk about an event so it sounds like it's going to be a secondary come on there we go a secondary armor one that we can put on just like this so um from the the leaks that i got it is a lot less material than i usually cover we don't have images we just have some text the text is a little bit more organized which is a welcome change from the past um but we do have a couple new uh runes to go so um if this plays out like the previous event the drop rates in the runes is much much less it's much more difficult to get um that certainly held true for the zero city and the american dad events as well um like before as long as you did a, a reasonable amount of grinding you got all of the runes that were there fairly easily many people do that and they upgrade the new tr and they get them all at the next level as well but that does not necessarily seem to be the case anymore so i don't know if that will hold true for this one but um I, I think the expectation at this point going forward is don't expect to get all of them every time anymore unless you're one of the hard hard hardcore grinders you know i push pretty hard but i'm not anywhere near most of you guys so all right let me go ahead and turn on this image this is going to be like i said a bit clunky and i'll try to make it look a little bit uh better you know it's a little bit bigger here so we can at least read what's on the screen here so starting at the top here i haven't read this yet so i'll be figuring it out as you guys do uh we have a um, artifact i believe so once an enemy is killed yeah uh a certain percentage of the max health is distributed amongst all enemy units of damage i like that triggers once per time and they've put a transformation rune on it once every a percentage of the max health is distributed and enemy triggers once per cooldown also heals allies distributing to two of them the enemies max health i like that one get this one run it out you basically do damage to the whole squad and you receive healing to the whole squad that sounds like a good one looking forward to that rune of frenzy so this will be one of our new runes that we can add and it looks like you can add it to any number of um, gears not specific to the tanks or specific to the rangers excuse me the archers all right so putting in this rune of frenzy on a plate mail uh when the current target is killed restores health and self nice okay outfit once in a while the attack is guaranteed to stun the target that's nice um plate mail outfit gear i don't really get what that is maybe tank um getting all my games confused i was gonna say engineer no it's the wrong game chemist no it's the wrong game uh mage so this is probably mage and this is probably our archers maybe once in a while the attack is guaranteed to stun okay and then gear attack restores health equal to the damage done to the ally with at least current health that sounds like that would be tank ranger i mean archer and um mage whatever that's what we're getting with the uh the rune of frenzy and then we have the rune of dominance on the plate mail on losing health launches a fireball at the enemy doing a certain amount of damage which we, obviously we can't tell outfit once in a while selects the enemy with the least health and curses them if the enemy is killed by the curse random enemies will occasionally be stunned for a short time nice if the cursed enemy is not killed it will be stunned okay good and gear every shot injures the target i like it upon sustaining a number of injuries enemy loses magical armor and their incoming health is reduced 
The effect lasts for a certain amount of time when the effect wears off, the enemy can be injured again. Eh, interesting. All right, rune fortification on a tank when taking damage has a percentage chance of absorbing incoming damage and restoring health in itself triggers that's nice i like that of course uh, mage once in a while when the ally's health drops to oh, that's funny it says mage this time in archer instead of the other ones i guess that text just wasn't changed for the ones above so it is mage in the middle and archer on the bottom at least on this one, who knows if it is for the other ones. Once in a while, when an ally's health drops to below, whatever instantly restores health in the ally. Very nice. That is a very good one. Instantly restores heal. I wonder how much that's going to be. And for the archer, when taking damage deals physical damage to the cursed attacker, the cursed enemy takes uh, relative damage, more damage for a certain amount of time once per... Okay, so that's all we have. That is all of the information. Basically, we have a new artifact coming out. Let's go back to the top. Sorry for this this uh, roller coaster right up top. So we got a firecracker artifact coming out, um, which can do some healing and some uh, damage. We have the rune of frenzy. We have the I missed the other one. Rune of fortification and the rune of dominance so that is the information we have um again the uh, the downtime just happened oh, sorry i'm going to turn this off so i'm not moving all over the screen the downtime just happened uh, i don't know if we've seen i haven't seen an ios oh we did get an ios update so i believe everything is in place for the event to start and if this is a rune event those are usually three week long events so this will basically take us to the end of the month and my thought at this point would be at you know within a week or so of that the clan ter territories would probably go live I and mean, this is all speculation i don't have any any uh, facts to base the basis on other than just logically it kind of makes sense um and as far as the three weeks go i think the rune, the rune events usually give you three extra days at the end so that would be, i'm going to go backwards to try to figure out the start day so it would be sunday saturday friday Plus, it goes for three weeks. So that means we'd be starting on Thursday more than likely, which would be tomorrow morning. So potentially, before this video even goes out, the event could go live, which would be a major bummer because I don't think I can get this event process or this video processed and uploaded before um, before four hours from now, which is usually the time it starts. So um, I might try to do that. I might try to rush this. So um, I'm going to do a quick quick change. We're going to cut. Let me see where we're at for time. Cause I want to get this out. We're at 12 minutes. You know what? I'm not going to do anything else. We're going to announce the giveaway and we're going to go ahead and post this video, get it out, get it processed, get it live tonight. So hopefully you guys can see it before the event goes live and then uh, we'll see if it's going to happen. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump into the giveaway, the new giveaway. As always, the uh, Hustle Castle uh, Facebook page and really just Hustle Castle in general just supports the uh, channel. I do appreciate everything they do here and keeping... Um, allowing me to do these and allow me to share the diamonds with you guys as well so we have 10 10 uh winners 500 diamonds each and same thing as we always do i'm going to give you a number range you're going to guess it and the 10 people that are closest are going to win so go down below in the description of this video open that google form in there and uh you need to give me three things if you click up here in your profile you can give me your where am I? Where am I? Oh, top here. Give me your name up here. Give me your ID, which you can copy this way if you want to, because I need to have that exact number. And then give me your guess. And then the number range we're going to have this week is going to be 20,000 to 40,000. So put in that random number between 20,000 and 40,000. And then we'll keep the giveaway live for four days after this goes, this video goes live. Um, and then I'll pick the uh, 10 people that were the closest. And just for those of you that are new, tiebreaker goes to the person who put the put the number in first. So if the 10th place is tied amongst um, many people, whoever picked that number first is going to get the tiebreaker. All those rules are just explained in the uh, the Google form when you open it up. So good luck. Thanks uh, everybody for watching. Thanks for participating. I just remembered what the other item I was going to um, bring up at the beginning of the video, which would have been much better. Um, I don't ask this very often and uh, beginning of videos is much better than the end is there's a lot of people that watch that don't actually subscribe to the channel uh, i appreciate it if you uh, you know if you like this content and something you want to see more often if you go ahead and click that subscribe button click like button if you enjoy it as well uh, all that helps the channel helps things grow helps get more visibility and things like that so thanks everybody for watching hopefully we get this event going live fairly soon and if we do i will be back very soon covering actually what the event is with what we know rather than speculation like this is so until the next time this has been qc runner for qc runner games and i will talk to you later see ya